here from quantlabs.net. Today I want to show you an article found here or a journal, plos.org. Article is called Deep Learning Framework for Financial Time Series Using Stacked Autoencoders and Long Short Term Memory. So just before we get into this heavy duty thing is there is a couple of terminology you should be aware of. Um, LTSM, long short term memory. I believe we have uh, Wikipedia here. I'll put the link in. This is how advanced machine learning can get um, mathematically as well. So I'm not going to get into the details of it, but I just want to show you how far deep it gets. And then we also have something called um, SAE, Stacked Autoencoder. And as you go through this article, uh, it talks about how to go about using different indexes from different um, regions throughout Hong Kong, Tokyo, New York, and I believe um, India as well. And um, all the different types of stocks, methodology and detail, uh, using wavelet form, transform, comparing it to the Fourier, all the usual detailed math and formulas and whatnot. This is where it can get very confusing. The math behind the stacked encoders. Um, again, I'm not going to go into details of it. Long term, long short term memory description here, how it works. Pretty, pretty uh, tough stuff. The data used. Now, <clears throat> here's here's a number of um, inputs into this thing. Uh, quite a bit. Daily trading data, open high load with the volume, as well as some technical analysis, as well as macroeconomic data. So they feed it into this thing. It's quite seems quite complicated. Um, the prediction approach, um, the different data frames. And then they talk about the accuracy, profitability with the buy and sell signal, and then obviously the results. Now, this is where it gets kind of crazy. So, if you look carefully in here in the dark blue, the accuracy is not quite there. Um, I think this one in the black, I'm sorry, it looks like the black is um, actual data. And they did say that the blue, the WSAELSTM, worked the best for predictability. A lot of people uh, I, I've seen use RNN. So the closest it seems is um, that WSALTSM is said in the data. And you can see it, it's not accurate, but it's close. Um, then they talk about the predictability. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but they did say just overall that the WSA outperforms the other three, not only on average, but also in each year. So be aware of that profitability test. Uh, let's see here. Results suggest that WSALTSM earns substantially more profit than the other three models. Uh, 
and then some details behind that. Conclusion. Okay. So, uh, here's an example of an LTSM recursive neural network. Um, it's done in Python. And then it's just a definitional LT, LSTM is, according to uh, Wikipedia. Okay. So, um, I just want to introduce you to something like this because this, this was quite popular on my Facebook group. And uh, it's quite interesting to see the accuracy on this type of model prediction uh, for um, machine learning. Hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.